All right, we're coming off a three and two day. My five personal sports bets on BrockPage.com yesterday. That's going to put us at three and zero in our last three NBA tier package bets on that very website. Thousand dollar betters are now up over twenty seven hundred dollars during that stretch. And if you want to access today's NBA tier package bet, the link for that play is in the description section below. We also have over 840 members who are signed up and active on my safe and secure webpage right now. Now, if you do end up signing up today for my NBA tier package bet, you're actually going to get access to that package every single day all the way through the end of March. You're also going to get access to all the lesser expensive packages absolutely free. Now, if you're not signed up for that package or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll explain a little bit more about it in just a moment, but before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal bets on BrockPage.com, and I packages on that website starting at just $1.99. Now, the purpose of these YouTube videos is to provide you with free informational sports betting content. And it's also designed to generate interest in signing up for a membership on my website. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my webpage. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side and total. And what I do on my website is, well, I actually share with you which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally. And uh, with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive into some NBA action. Uh, let's go ahead and start with our part one video right now. We're going to begin with the Hawks taking on the Pistons. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off on Monday, March 7th, 2022. Atlanta's minus 7.5 totals 228. But despite laying a pretty healthy number on the road here, the Hawks have consistently had a tough time covering the number away from home this season. These guys have covered it only 10 out of 31 road games. That's good for just 32% in that category. And the Hawks' biggest issue this season has been their defensive performance, or lack thereof. These guys are currently in the bottom 10 in road defensive field goal percentage. And they're also amongst the worst in the league in guarding the three ball away from home. And in these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with each other, Atlanta's given up 115 points a game to Detroit during that stretch. And speaking of the Pistons on the other side of things, they've actually been playing some really good basketball lately. Now, first of all, they're 7-0 against the spread in their last seven straight outings, so these guys have been cashing tickets left and right. And second of all, they got the outright W five times during that uh, span I just mentioned. And that includes victories over the likes of Charlotte, Cleveland, and Boston. Now, the Pistons do have a winning record against the point spread at home this year. And when it comes to defensive play in this one, the Pistons are actually in the top 10 in fewest fourth quarter points allowed. Now, scoring-wise, when it comes to offensive production, Jeremy Grant is averaging nearly 20 points a game along with four boards and a couple assists. Meanwhile, Cade Cunningham scoring 16 points a game himself, along with five rebounds and five assists. Now, injury-wise, Jackson's still out. Diallo is questionable. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, Herter, Hunter, and Okongwu, they are all listed as questionable for them. When it comes to the total, Atlanta saw unders recently with Boston and Chicago. Meanwhile, Detroit saw their last two straight fall under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward Detroit plus seven and a half. And the under, 228. Next game, Bulls, Sixers, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Philadelphia is minus 7 with a total at 230. Now, the Sixers got the W in 7 out of their last 9 ball games. And they've been absolutely dominant over Chicago in recent meetings. Matter of fact, the Sixers won their last 10 straight against the Bulls. And they successfully covered the number in 90% of those ball games. Now, the Sixers have been really catapulted by their defensive play this season. These guys are allowing only 106 points a game in the Wells Fargo Center. And in addition to that, they're also in the top five in defending the three ball. 
Now, scoring-wise, Joel Embiid's averaging 29.5 points a game, along with 11 boards for assists. Meanwhile, James Harden, he's scoring over 26.5 points a night with his new ball club, along with a dozen assists. Now, when it comes to shooting from the stripe, not a lot of people talk about uh, free throw shooting, but uh, one thing to note here, the Sixers actually lead the entire NBA in offensive free throw percentage. So when you got, uh, when you got a guy like James Harden uh, on your roster, um, you know, that certainly is uh, something to think about. You really don't want to put these guys to the stripe. Now, uh, Philadelphia is taking on a Chicago team who has a losing record against the point spread on the road this year. They also find themselves in the middle of a four-game skid. They've really not been playing great basketball over the past couple of weeks. Now, Chicago's biggest problem this year has been their defensive play. These guys are in the bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage. And they're amongst the worst in the East in defending the three-pointer. And even when it comes to offensive rebounding, these guys are currently dead last in the league in offensive boards per game on the road. Now, injury-wise, Caruso and Ball are still out indefinitely for Chicago. Nick Vucevic, he's also questionable with a hammy. When it comes to the total in this one, Chicago went 4-1 to the under in their last five ball games, 70% to the under in their last 10. Meanwhile, Philadelphia saw unders recently with the likes of Miami and OKC. They also held Chicago to just 102 points per contest in their last 10 head-to-head uh, head meetings with each other. So if you're into historical trends, you certainly want to think about that one there. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Philadelphia, minus 7. And the under 230, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for part one. It is going to be Rockets versus the Heat, 7.30 p.m. East. Miami's minus 14 and a half, totals 226. Now, Miami's covered the number in their last four straight, and they've lost only two ball games since February 1st. The Heat's also amongst the better home teams in the association, these guys are currently 22-7 and seven straight up in the FTX arena. And that's good for 76% in that category. Jimmy Butler scoring over 21 points per contest, along with six rebounds and five assists. Meanwhile, Tyler Hero, he's scoring 20 points a game himself, along with four boards and four assists as well. And offensive production aside, this is actually a Miami team who's really anchored by their defensive play. These guys allow only 103 points a game at home. And they're leading the entire NBA in defensive boards. Now Miami's taking on a Houston team who wins only 20% of their road games. And they're allowing more points per contest away from home than any other team in the league. Now Houston's got the W in only two contests since January 19th. And they also find themselves in the bottom three in offensive rebounding uh, per game this year. Now, injury-wise, Schroeder and Garuba are questionable. Meanwhile, for Miami on the other side of things, Oladipo and Martin are questionable for them. Lowry's out. Be on the lookout. Might see a, uh, a Victor Oladipo sighting here today. Now, total-wise, three out of Miami's last four fell under the posted number. They also went 70% to the under in their last 10. Meanwhile, Houston went 5-1 to the under in their last six themselves. They also averaged just 104 points a game in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with Miami. So once again, if you're into historical trends, well, you may want to think about leaning toward the under in this one. As for me, I'm going to lean toward Miami minus 14 and a half and the under 226 in that tight window. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind... You're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on BrockPage.com, you're going to get access to that content all the way through the end of March. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. And guys, if you want to get access to every single bet that I give out on that website, you're going to want to think about signing up for my board member tier package. Not only do board members get access to the board member tier pick itself, you actually get access to every single bet that I give out on that website all the way through the end of March. It's an all-inclusive package, but most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. 
And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.